Hey guys, welcome back to the COVID Cocktail Club again. We are so excited and so overwhelmed by everybody's responses. We are so happy that you guys are loving what we're doing. We're doing it for you, so um, that's awesome. Keep posting your pictures of what you make yeah. every night on Facebook because we love to see it. Um, okay, I wanted to start off today by uh, answering uh, one of the questions that I keep getting on this, which is simple syrup. We're gonna use a lot of simple syrup over and over again. So the best way for you guys to do this, it's very easy and I promise you, you have it laying around your kitchen right now. It's sugar and water. Um, equal parts, you can make one cup and one cup. You could do half a cup and half a cup. Stick it in a saucepan right on your range, um, which mine broke earlier today, so that's very exciting. Um, just bring it to a boil, leave it boiling for, what Jason, 30 seconds, a minute? At, at most, yeah. Then take it off the heat, let it cool, and then you are done. You have simple syrup. That's it. You can stick it. I like to stick mine in a um, container like that. It just makes it easy to pour. But if you don't have that laying around, you can use a glass jar. That works. Whatever, literally whatever you have laying around. Um, if you want to stick it back in your Pyrex, that's fine too. Seal it with like some press and seal or whatever. Stick it in your fridge. You've got to keep it refrigerated for it to stay good. Um, but literally, y'all, this could not be easier. So make your own simple syrup. Uh, once it's in your fridge, it should stay good for like about a month. So hopefully you'll only make one batch of this before this thing is over. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. And actually, Bryce, one little trick of the tray that we, I learned recently, uh, if you add just a splash of vodka, let's say like an ounce of vodka to maybe a 12 ounce um, you know, 12 ounces of simple syrup, it'll actually extend the life of it. Uh, the beauty of vodka, the beauty of vodka that you and I always joke about is it's sort of the tofu of, of, of spirits. It really doesn't have any flavor, um, but because of the alcohol content, it will extend the life of the simple syrup without changing the flavor. Um, uh, obviously important not to let your kids use your simple syrup once you've done that, but it is important if you want to extend the life of it. So with that being said, let's, let's dive right into today's cocktail. And I'm really excited about this one, guys. Um, it's, it's sort of a non-cocktail cocktail. And what I mean by that is it's, it, there's no, no mixing glass, there's no shaker can. You really don't even need measuring tools if you don't want to. It's really kind of a feel thing. And it's called a ranch water. Some people call it West Texas ranch water because it actually started out in West Texas, um, out kind of near Marfa, Marathon, Fort Davis, that region. Uh, it started out really as just a simple way. This, this one bartender was actually trying to extend the life of his margaritas, you know, as he would sort of get, you know, watered down and sort of flavorless. He would, he would actually add some sparkling water to it just and some ice to extend the life of it. And it's sort of taken on a life of its own in the last, what, Bryce, what would you say, in that last two or three years? Sure. It's gotten pretty popular here in Houston, especially, maybe not outside of Texas, but in Texas, it's gotten really big. Um, what I, there's lots of stories about it, but one thing I really like about it is, while you can use any sparkling water, uh, Topo Chico is really the one you want to use if it's available to you. Um, if you're not familiar with Topo Chico, it's made in Monterey, Mexico. Uh, the water is actually sourced from an inactive volcano, so it's kind of a cool story. Um, but the one thing I can tell you, like, unequivocally, it will last longer than any other sparkling water you use. Like, I've had, we've had parties at our house where we'll open up a bottle, I'll forget about it on a Saturday, Monday morning, it's still bubbling. So I don't know what they do to it, so it's that inactive volcano, but it, it adds you know, sort of that extra uh, uh, effervescence that Ricey loves for me to say. Um, anyway, so... Effervescence. Effervescence, exactly. Uh, but anyways, it's very refreshing. It's also really great if you're in Texas right now, you know it's almost 90 degrees. I'm looking outside right now at our pool. It is looking very, very hot out there. So it's a great time to have a really refreshing drink that's easy to make. So let's do it. So three core ingredients. Again, don't need a mixing glass. Don't need a shaker can. You won't see one here. Um, all you need is a highball glass, which I think we used yesterday in one of our cocktails. So start with a highball glass. Fill it with ice. You can add some limes if you want to. Two ounces of tequila, in, in my case. Bryce, do you want to speak to another option? Yeah, so uh, anytime anything calls for tequila, I generally opt for my mezcal, because you guys know how I feel about my mezcal. I've got a love affair with the smoky stuff. A lot of you guys don't like it, and that's totally fine, but anytime a recipe calls for tequila, you can absolutely swap it out for mezcal, and the other way around, you can just swap mezcal out for tequila. Um, 
also a nice thing to do is half and half it if you want, just half tequila, half mezcal, or three quarters and a quarter, however you wanna do it. As long as it ends up equaling two ounces, you're fine. And um, the other thing, Jason, that I wanted to throw in there is um, if you are gonna use tequila, please use a Blanco tequila for this one. This is not where we're gonna use your Reposado or your Anejo tequilas. That's a good point. Back to the mezcal, because I know a lot of you guys are, are sort of intimidated by it, but maybe you're interested in wanting to, to explore it. I think Rice's idea of 50-50, you can even do 75-25 with more tequila than mezcal, and then as you develop a taste for it, before you know it, you'll, you'll be drinking more mezcal than tequila, but it's a good way to kind of, sort of a starter. So like, it's, like, it's like having training wheels on your drink with yeah. mezcal. Yeah. So, uh, so let's start with a two ounce pour. One more thing, if you are gonna try mezcal, this is a good bottle to get. It's a good, it's a good entry level, good price point, good solid one to mix. So. Uh, I'm choosing about a half ounce of lime juice. Again, as a common thing you'll hear us say about rules and no rules, really it's about just the flavor profile. If you want something a little extra tart, you can add more lime. If you want it less tart, less lime. But generally speaking, four to one ratio of tequila or mezcal to your lime juice. And then you top it off with the aforementioned Topo Chico. And effectively what you have here is sort of a marriage between a Tom Collins and a margarita. Uh, it's actually, I think, a better way of having a skinny margarita, which typically has some of those fake sweeteners. This is giving you a lot of the same, the, the same um, you know, uh, features of a margarita, but in a much lighter fashion. Um, there's also things you can add if you want to give it you know, some different flavors. Like in my case, I have a dry curacao, like a triple sec. You could always add to it if you wanted to, an orange or a grapefruit. Rice, do you have any ideas of things you'd use in a ranch water? Um, you could also do it with any of those new flavor Topo Chico's. I know now they do a lime Topo Chico or a grapefruit Topo Chico, and those are also great options. Yeah. Um, maybe add in some um, a ginger liqueur, like a, a Domaine de Canton or anything ginger that you've got. Hell, throw in a couple of bitters if you feel like it. I mean, whatever you want. All right, I do have one, one trick of the trade today. This is a fun one, guys. So, again, back here in Houston where it's 90 degrees out, you're taking your dog for a walk, maybe you're out by the pool, you can't carry around a highball glass with you, right? So instead, you take a Topo Chico bottle, you pour it out or put it into, into another glass, you make the Granch water, you pour it back into your Topo Chico, and you now have a Topo Chico, a little contraband in it, fresh lime, and you're good to go. And nobody so, will know what you're drinking. Exactly. Your homework for tomorrow, you guys, is to make some of that simple syrup that we talked about earlier and I need you to get some bourbon out. I need you to find some bitters and tomorrow's going to be a lot of fun. Cheers, Rice. Cheers, Jason.